That was Hill's song with, of course, We Just Can't Stop Talking. And listen to what David had to say in Psalm 51, verse number 2. He says, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So David was well aware of what he was capable of. And we need to recognize that, that we are all capable of things that, well, aren't good for us or good for others. And so in that moment, once we become aware of it, we need to do a 1 John 1.9. 1 John 1.9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and he's just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. David understood keeping short accounts with God. He did not want anything in his life to hinder his relationship with God. And as soon as he became aware of it, he says, Lord, I need you right now to wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Now, iniquity is habitual sin. It means that it are things that you do on a regular basis. It may not be every day, but it's something that you seem to fall into. That's why he says, you need to cleanse me from my sin. Billy Graham gave us this little thought. He says, when you bring your... Uh, your situation to the Lord. You bring your sins to the Lord. You say, Lord, I'm asking for your forgiveness. Then the second part has to do with renunciation. That means a determination not to continue the behavior. And asking the Holy Spirit to help you with this so that it doesn't become a pattern that sooner or later destroys you and your relationship with God. So that's why David understood. And David also knew the importance of taking ownership, not deflecting it, not justifying it, not blaming your somebody else, but just saying, yeah, I did this. And with your help, Lord, I'm not going to do it again. Because you know how destructive it can be and how that it can hurt you and others and your relationship with God. So that's what he was getting at when he said this, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. He was basically knowing that God would and God wonderful love and blood, the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse us from all sin. Now we have for you right now, Maranatha with your name.